after failing to find love during her time on Nick Vile's season of The Bachelor, Rachel Lindsay went on to capture the hearts of America during her run as The Bachelorette. And while you may think you know pretty much everything about someone after you've watched her cry her eyelashes off, here are some extra details we dug up about the future Mrs. Abasolo. Race and Relationships Being the first black bachelorette in franchise history, it was kind of a no-brainer that race would be a lingering topic on the show this year. The primary villain of the season, Lee Garrett, instigated race conversations during his time in the mansion. I'm the only country boy in here, and I'm gonna have problems with some of these guys in here. But it was actually a conversation between Lindsay and another potential suitor, Will Gaskins, that offered the most insight into The Bachelorette's thoughts on race and interracial dating. Gaskins told Lindsay that he had primarily dated white women based on the fact that he hadn't grown up around many black people. Lindsay seemed a bit skeptical of his explanation, and countered with the fact that she too had been raised in a predominantly white community in Dallas, Texas, but she had still dated black men. Judges' Orders Throughout the season, Lindsay was all about keeping it 100 and quickly became a fan favorite because of her zero-tolerance policy for BS. I'm not here to be played. I'm not here to be made a joke of, which is what I feel like you're doing right now with me. So I'm really gonna need you to get the f out. Apparently, her no-nonsense attitude runs in the family. Her father, Sam A. Lindsay, is a federal judge for the U.S. District Court of the Northern District of Texas, who was appointed to his position by President Bill Clinton. Lindsay described her father as intimidating, and their relationship was questioned when he was noticeably absent during all of her hometown visits. However, according to Vile, he did meet her father off-camera. And there's Instagram proof that Abasolo also met Mr. Lindsay when the cameras weren't rolling. Sounds like Lindsay's dad is just a little bit camera shy. Raising the bar Considering all the media attention the franchise gets, pretty much everyone could tell you that Lindsay is a lawyer. I do civil defense litigation, so all right. I'm a trial attorney, I'm in yeah. trial. And while her job alone already places her way ahead of former contestants with occupations like aspiring dolphin trainer and manscaper, Lindsay proves time and time again that she's not the average bachelorette. The Dallas native, who graduated from Marquette University Law School, passed the bar exam on her first time around. Hoop Dreams Lindsay wasn't playing games when it came to finding a husband, but she is a huge sports fan, especially basketball. The Bachelorette alum was able to explore her passion when she landed an internship with the NBA in New York after her senior year of college. Lindsay just might have the most impressive resume in the history of the franchise. Is there anything this woman can't do? Oh, God. <laughs> Trouble on the road Sometimes The Bachelor or Bachelorette is forced to face a scandal from their past during the season. However, Lindsay's season was overshadowed by the Bachelor in Paradise scandal surrounding Demario Jackson and Corinne Olympios, which might be the reason Lindsay's own scandal wasn't brought to light. According to Radar Online, in June 2013, Lindsay rear-ended another car and was accused of negligently failing to control her vehicle. The victim requested damages for pain and suffering, and although Lindsay denied the accusations, she ultimately ended up coughing up $12,500 to get the case against her dismissed. Old Flame From day one, there was never any question that Lindsay would be walking away from her season with a rock. And not just because she totally spilled the beans before her season even aired. During her season, she revealed that prior to signing on to The Bachelor, she was stuck in a long-term relationship that ultimately ended because of long distance. Lindsay knew going in that she wasn't interested in getting into another dead-end relationship. With a $100,000 engagement ring and a fiancé in tow, we're sure her ex is kicking himself right now for letting Lindsay be the one who got away. Meanwhile... I'm living my best life. Kiss and kind of tell. Usually, bachelors and bachelorettes are very secretive when it comes to dishing about the infamous fantasy suite date. But Lindsay, ever the game changer, was relatively open about her alone time with her top three. Kind of. She told E.T. that she didn't sleep with everyone, but that could also mean that she didn't sleep with anyone. It looks like Lindsay is putting her lawyer skills to good use, even outside of court. Love and Basketball Back in college, NBA All-Star Kevin Durant apparently had his chance to court the future Bachelorette star. According to an Us Weekly Insider, the two dated while attending the University of Texas at Austin before she headed off to law school. In an amusing twist of events, an NBA Finals game in which Durant played took the time slot for a Bachelorette episode, pushing it back a week. However, it seems that there's no bad blood between the two, as Lindsay was spotted cheering from the stands at the game. Not a fan. Some contestants come on to the show with a wealth of knowledge about the franchise and already know when to insert key phrases like 
I don't think that she's here for the right reasons. But Lindsay had never really given the show a second thought before she found herself vying for Vile's heart on The Bachelor. As it turns out, Lindsay didn't even sign herself up. She told people, My coworkers actually signed me up for The Bachelor and were like, You've got to go to this casting call. So once that process happened, I started to tune in more. Similarly, Lindsay's family wasn't sold on the idea of her finding a husband on a reality show with a relatively low success rate. This whole process, uh, you know, you guys probably are a little bit skeptical on it, but... Yeah, especially when you say love. Mama Lindsay and big sister Constance seem particularly unimpressed with Abasolo and his smooth-talking ways. He's direct and he's open, but I don't think there's the sincerity factor in it. And so my guard was up. But it's safe to say that in the past year, Lindsay has transformed into a super fan and had a ton of fun along the way. I like to think of myself as kind of funny, but You're not you know, funny. like I. <laughs> I'm dying. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.